Look, Whatever. I want to make sure we straight. I think we straight. We good. If you can hear me perfectly sounding yes. clear. I, I, I always can, Mike. I know, but you know. You just want to be designer. That wasn't. No, that wasn't the case. Oh, what was the case then, Mike? I'm just trying to be as comfy as possible. Yeah, whatever. I'm trying to be comfy, bro. That's all. I'm trying to be comfy. I'm trying to be comfy. What's good, baby? Happy Friday. Happy Friday, fam. <clears throat> yes, sir. Um, um, or wherever you listen to this, happy Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, wherever you listen to this, whenever you listen to this, some dude. 74. Whatever day that you decide to listen right. to this or watch this and stream this. Have a happy happy day. That, I hope that is a happy day for you. This is Some Dude Pod. Where we at? Episode 74? 74. Episode 74, man. Make sure you rate, like, subscribe. We are on Apple Podcasts. We are on Spotify. We are also on iHeartRadio, uh, Amazon, Audio Boom, um, YouTube. If you're watching this right now, you're watching this on YouTube. So congratulations to you for you know doing that. And yeah, that's just what it is, man. Uh, rate, like, subscribe, drop comments, leave Look reviews. Money. You Look know how we do it, baby. It's Friday. We cook it. That's oh. fine, baby. That's oh. fine. Do y'all think? Snapping the day. Some do pod, man. You know what I'm saying? Follow <laughs> us on IG. We are on IG at some do pod. Hit the oh. link in the bio to cop some merch. We oh. do got merch. We got sweats and, you know, hoodies and oh, masks yeah. and all that shit. You know, some do pod. It is what it is, oh. baby. Oh, you need the box? I got to get the Pampers, Mike. Okay. Dad's on duty. As always, that is how we do it on some do pod. It's it's always an adventure with us. You're going to hear Landon in the background. You might hear Trey in the background. Never have to be a parent. Absolutely. Have to be a parent real quick. She's going around the corner. <laughs> the, the coast clear. Coast clear. This is a safe zone. I just want to make sure. This is a safe zone, guys. This is a safe zone. I just want to make sure before I always be clear. Uh you know, I know it might have been a little bit of a misconception of our some dude pod group and this pod being I a safe zone, but this is a safe pod. zone, okay? We can talk about whatever it is we want to talk about. Sure. I'm over it, bro. I'm over it. No, whose song is that on the back end of that? Okay. Stupid. <laughs> Erica Banks. Erica Banks. Yeah, that's Megan Thee Stallion Jr. Okay. She signed okay. with them. I just, you know, you gotta. I gotta watch it on mute. Okay. I got you. Or I need like, to. Okay. I need to see what that other, like the back half of that video. I mean, that song. I never heard that song before. I don't care about the back. Okay. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> You've been watching uh what's the challenge? The yeah, busted, the busted bu- challenge. Busted challenge. You've yes. been watching them? Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, when I when I log in, can't be over that. I can't when I log into my TikTok, I do have a TikTok, but I, I just use don't. it for I use it for this type of purposes mm-hmm. only. So when I go, there's lots of busts, like lots of those challenges. So if I logged into TikTok right now, I'm pretty sure that, like one of these videos is gonna be oh no, this shit is popping right now, too. This shit is funny. I'll be laughing hard on this shit. No, I only care about the bus. See, see, see? Hey. hey, 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 Did you say hold wow. on? Mm. Oh, yeah, mm. oh, I gotta put it mm. yeah. yeah, I gotta, I gotta watch it on mute. Yeah, it's a thing, though. It's a thing. So, shout out to is Nelly getting the check for that? He has to, he had to clear it. Got to, bro. He had to clear it. Nelly is a legend. Legend, put some respect on that man's name. Hey, you know that song is old, right? Hiding her, yeah. No, 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 not hiding her. I'm talking about Bust It. No, I haven't heard that song. Yeah, I, apparently, that song well, I haven't either. But apparently, you know, she's been working that song for a while. And so mm-hmm. the video of her, you know, doing that song at a at a club before, you know, it was you no know, before we was closed, and nobody was paying attention to the song. Now it's a challenge. That's why it pays. Like now, it's two things to that. It's two things to that, right? Well, three. One is a great challenge. Absolutely. You have to be respectable when you watch these challenges, though, as a married man. Okay. Okay. Because I don't want to overdo it. And then every time, you know, the wife hears me on Instagram, I think my butt getting me. Because then after a while, when she knows the challenge, she's going to know what's going to happen. Okay. And then next thing you know, I'm going to get cussed out. 
Hey, just show her the one that you posted on uh that you posted oh, IG, on your story. IG story. The one yeah. with the girl was footworking. She was footworking. She was footworking. She's footworking. She yeah, yeah, yeah. Footwork. And I wasn't looking at that one, no ass right there. <laughs> Chicago people just footwork to everything. <laughs> Chicago Detroit. people That's... find some shit to footwork to. <laughs> oh so, yeah. Right. Bust I mean, it. Bust it. Bust, 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 bust the soles in her bow, sneakers. Bow, 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 like, <laughs> but yeah, you gotta. You gotta be respectable. You don't want to overdo it. You don't want to look at five videos in a minute, you know, like some people. But it's a great challenge. So that's one. <laughs> Two, it just shows you that artists should not be discouraged, mm -hmm. you know, when they have a song that they need to work. True. Um, they shouldn't be discouraged at all. And it's just that it just so happens, like I said, Nelly is a living legend at this point yeah, yeah, yeah. in his life that he has a song where that still to this day, well, when, when did that song come out? 20 years ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That That's 2000. Two, 20 years ago, fam. 20 years ago, that song is still relevant to this day. I mean, so, it's Nelly. And then Nelly was on Dancing with the Stars this season. Mm -hmm. So you know how that go. Yeah. But you it know, just happened like at one point we at one point we were when the, the story came out about Nelly and you know about him going bankrupt or something like that or some shit and we Nelly, you know, no he not know <laughs> like, you know, he was having money issues and we was like All right, everybody stream hot in her for Nelly do it for but Nelly see, we gotta we gotta <laughs> oh I'm sorry <laughs> they ain't got this shit as his ringtone y'all y'all saw that right I don't for. <laughs> I don't want to. He got it as his ringtone. Oh. I don't want to get cussed. But no, but nah, like, <laughs> like, you work the record, fam. Just work the record. Yeah. If you feel strongly in that record, work the record. Because if it's if it's supposed to hit, it's going to hit. It's and there. you gotta look at that video, man. I if I find it, I'll show it to you. Yeah, there's but, artists out here who feel like. See, that's just that's gonna be another reason why artists feel like when they drop records that it needs to have a challenge. It, now, you know, so that's the third. That's number three. That's like, number three. Mm -hmm. It's it's wild how TikTok has ingrained itself in music now. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I all we talked about Drake a little bit last week. I don't wanna I don't wanna hurt nobody's feelings here, and we're gonna talk about Drake again today. I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings today. <clears throat> I don't want nobody to be like, oh, what you talking about, Dre? But when, what was that? The the right foot up? What, what was the name of that song? Um, the Tootsie Slide. Yeah, the Tootsie Slide. That song, when it when it dropped, niggas was like, what the fuck is this shit, Dre? Mm -hmm. When that song dropped, niggas was like, nope. Put that shit in the trash. <laughs> but then TikTok comes. Mm -hmm. That was it's a challenge. It's a challenge. Mm -hmm. It's a challenge. So what I'm saying is, is that um, these things happen now that TikTok is around. That song did jack shit when it dropped, mm -hmm. but now it's the busted challenge. Yeah. Um, and I'm not saying it's a bad song because I haven't heard it. It's I've, a bad song. Which song? You about? Which song are you talking about? The Busset. Oh, the bus it. No, 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 I thought you were talking about Tootsie Slide. I, was like, yeah, I, I hate Tootsie Slide, but I've not gotten past the first first like first five bars. 15 bars. I've not got past the um is you fucking that, that part. I, I haven't heard it. I haven't heard I've it. I've not heard it after because that. When the because when you're watching the challenges, the, the song cuts off after that. So I haven't actually heard this song. I literally thought that was like a new record, like something that was out. So I'm I've not gotten past "Is You Fucking." I'm gonna find the song. I, 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 so I can't tell you. <laughs> I can't tell you what she says if the song after, is good or not after that part. Mm -hmm. Um, but if you like, okay, I'll give you an example. It's my uh, one of my homies from high school. Shameless plug, K Pella. Mm -hmm. K Pella got a song called "Break uh, Break My Heart." Yeah, everything Afrobeat centric song. It's a dope song too, you know what I'm saying, and and especially since Afrobeast is so popular, you know what I'm saying. It's a dope song, and Afrobeast is popular. Shouts out to um, Davido and Afro B and all that stuff. Afro B and Davido are both cool dudes too, so mm -hmm. um, met them both. But uh, with Afrobeast being popular, you know, his song floats right up in there. Yeah, you know, um, 
should that song could that song be played on the radio and everything? Yes, especially with Afrobeats being so popular. Um, but it don't hurt to have somebody on TikTok and do a dance. Mm-hmm. Break my it don't hurt. Definitely doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. And I think I think it is going to pit, I think that pisses off like you know the super hip hop people. Mm-hmm. But I mean TikTok, just I think of TikTok like imagine if Madonna was a new artist now mm-hmm. and you know all the songs that she released was released today because mm-hmm. you know we can hate madonna all we want to you know with the little black boy how she be doing a black son and all that <laughs> shit but but you can listen to borderline and borderline pop now mm-hmm. you know you can um listen to like a virgin it pops now yep you can listen Back. to a couple of joints on madonna's first album and it pops now mm-hmm. um and but, don't be surprised if TikTok get a hold of one of those songs. Oh yeah, don't. Their songs on a TikTok. Borderline challenge. There's, yeah, there's, yeah. there's my daughter has TikTok and she does TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Videos to songs that I wouldn't even expect her to know. Like right. so like that came out and they signed wow, a deal. And they signed a deal with labels. Yeah. So that that's going to happen. That's that's in label strategy. Like oh man, this song fit TikTok. The TikTok ain't for the super hip hop niggas. TikTok is not for Griselda. <laughs> but if you hear a song on Griselda from Griselda on TikTok, if there's a a Griselda challenge on TikTok, TikTok, you're gonna hate Griselda. We're not gonna right after that. We're not, you're not gonna see no hard super hip hop niggas with some Tim's on with the Griselda challenge. You're not gonna do it. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Uh, but for some of these artists that does dance music, that does popular music, pop music, mm-hmm. you know, you're gonna see that. Mm-hmm. Um, and and and. You shouldn't worry about that because that's not your lane. That's not your demographic. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was interesting. Like, you know, again, no, I won't be respectful. I won't. It's stupid. <laughs> I saw one today. I had to turn it. I was like, oh, that's too. It's too much for my eyes, fam. It's too much for my married eyes. I understand. Can't. I, understand. I need some wholesome busted challenges. Okay. Some wholesome. Okay. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't flip it to where they didn't flip it to where they got people's sons getting into shit like you somebody mama you ain't yeah. like busting nothing like the Monica joint you know saying like yeah. oh yeah you right you right I I can't I, I can't I need to hold some challenges you know like I I need I need um a pair of jeans loose fitting jeans I need some mom jeans because you know mom jeans don't. And some some bus challenge, some mom jeans. Okay, <laughs> you know, so I won't get killed, man. Uh but yeah, man, that that ain't going nowhere anytime soon. Nah. None of this stuff is going nowhere anytime soon. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really want to get to it, Mike. It, it wasn't a lot of things that happened this week. Mm-hmm. It wasn't a lot like the bus challenge. Um, has been going on. I mean, we gonna we 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 could we could get into the whites real quick. The white because I think what the white people to- do now. What the white people do now? Well, I mean, it ain't what they did. They getting arrested. Mm-hmm. The whites are getting arrested. I, I see this. So, so now they're pretty much at this point. They're like, you know, running back the the tape. Yeah, they running on, back the tape. Running back the tape and seeing what this person did. What this person oh. did. You did this. You were involved in that. You stole we are, that. We on your ass, man. We on you, your you, ass. You took, a, you took a, that dude we talked about. Yeah, the dude that sat on Nancy that. Pelosi desk. Yeah. That the next day did the interview. Arrested. Got his ass. Um, uh, buddy ass with the with the horns and shit. Yeah. Arrested, but he he said he wasn't eating none of the prison food. And they was, he he eats organic food. And they was like, all right, fuck it. You gonna yeah. be in jail? Eat this organic food. Mm-hmm. Uh, niggas wouldn't get that shit, but doesn't need to know that. <laughs> um, it's a lot, like like a lot of them getting arrested. Some of them are crying. Some of them are quitting their jobs. No one dude. I mean, I don't wish death on anybody. One dude uh, committed suicide. Um, that was fucked up. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's a lot. But you know, the election, you know, is over. Yep. We're, we're good on the election and all that stuff is over. Mm-hmm. The inauguration. Is I can't really say that word right. The inauguration is, is, is inauguration, inauguration. I think it's, it's inaug, inauguration. inauguration. Okay, say shit, but yeah, that's on the twentieth, and reportedly, allegedly, there are going to be uh, some protest in all fifty states. I don't know why people need to protest in Boise, Idaho. 
I don't know why people need to protest in, you know, in, in Vermont, but it's supposed to be going down in all 50 states in D.C. They protesting um, in uh, South Dakota and yeah, Montana and shit? I guess so. Hmm. So people are legit worried that all it's for Donald be- Trump be awful, buddy. This is ridiculous, bro. I've never seen anything like this. How can one man have, have all-, all that power, bro, over people's minds like this? Uh, this shit is wild to me, bro. It is all white people and some black folks. Some. I'm a just all group of niggas. I'm really at a loss for words, bro. At how much mind control? Like the same amount of niggas that's in Latin Kings mm-hmm. are the same amount of niggas in these white groups. I would never have imagined that one white man could have mind control over so over a whole nation. So, are you worried? Are you nervous? I don't know, man. I don't know yet. I gotta <laughs> see, bro. I, I I know you should be nervous. You're gonna be right in the center of it. Yeah, like might. they might be, they might be right there outside your building on the street. Walk down the street, they're gonna take over DC and walk down like the street. That, so I'm more, right in front of my apartment. If anything, I'm more Did nervous. You vote for Biden, nigga? <laughs> I'm more nervous for you <laughs> than anything right now. But I'm this is crazy, yo. I'm I'm shocked right now. I'm literally shocked at how, <laughs> how, how Trump got you. the juice like this. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Do you think they're gonna protest in Maywood? Hell no, nigga. You think white people are- ghetto Maywood, ghetto Maywood. They gonna be protesting. <laughs> if I see anybody protesting on some Donald Trump shit in Maywood, goddamn it, <laughs> I'm out of here. Motherfuckers go. No possible way. Motherfuckers go in Bellwood, Maywood. I better not see none of that shit in Bellwood, Maywood, Broadview. None of that. No motherfuckers better not be protesting, bro. Everybody gonna go to May Maybrook. No, bro. I look, look, man. If if it is, I need to see the footage of it. Somebody better get the footage of that. Get the motherfuckers. Think it's gonna happen in Naperville. Naperville, maybe. All right, go out there to like Schaumburg, Naperville, Downers Grove, okay, real. Chicago. You do. Can you see a protest? I can see a protest happening of somewhere down on, 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 on Michigan Ave or State Street. Can you see a protest of white people? I can see it. I can oh, see it going right. down downtown Chicago. I can see it. But nowhere Down else. In Chicago. I don't know, man. In the middle, I think it's something where somewhere downtown, like Michigan Ave. It could possibly happen. You good at Landon? When- oh, oh. Hey, Landon, do you can you Miriam? Can you see a group of white people protesting in Chicago over this Donald Trump shit? I can't see it. I can see it. Won't I can see them going to shop. Going where? I can go see them shop. I can go see that. I can't see them. I can't see it. I, can, I necessarily can't see it, but I won't be shocked. I won't be shocked yeah, at I, all. I don't know, man. I won't be shocked. I'm going to keep an eye out on what's going on in those um suburbs out there. Yeah, <laughs> Aurora, you know. Definitely not out there. Right? Lyle. Lyle, you know. Yeah, Lyle, definitely. Lamont. Yeah, definitely some MAGA out there. So I, I it's wouldn't MAGA. Be if I said it's a MAGA, it's a MAGA and Burr Ridge. Hell yeah. Shit. MAGA Rose, and Burr Ridge. Roselle. Out the Roselle <laughs> area. Rose- <laughs> <laughs> all, <laughs> all the MAGA and Bloomingdale. Oh yeah, absolutely, oh, bro. Man, past boss, past Great America, Skokie, Gurney. Skokie. <laughs> shit. Niles. Yeah, the Mac and Niles are gonna get together and go to their city hall. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I yeah. It wouldn't, wouldn't shock me at all. I'm not gonna be shocked at all. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm looking at CNN right now. They're talking about the district attorney, uh, uh the, no, the attorney general, excuse me, mm. and DC is considering indictment charges against Donald Trump Jr., mm. Rudy Giuliani, and um Brett Mo Brooks. All mm-hmm. them was at the pro at the um at the Capitol, like basically get this shit. <laughs> so they they considering that, but yeah, I, that's funny. And then Trump talking about some, hey, I'm gonna have me a little joint during the inauguration. Like he he the ultimate hater, fan. Donald Trump gonna be there, right? He gonna be at the inauguration. Oh, he, he has to go, right? He said he, coming. he said he not coming. Hey, look, I don't want to be that guy. I am not a conspiracy theorist. I never aim to be that guy, but I'm always somebody who pays attention to shit. Yeah. 
Gee, I wouldn't be mad if it's an assassination attempt. Bro, attempt. you got to chill, bro. Surprise. I've said, I've been on record as saying that. Look, when was the last time we know, we know of an assassination attempt? Bro. That we know. The last one that I could think of that we know, mm -hmm. we wasn't born yet. It right. was Ronald Reagan's. Mm -hmm. I don't think nobody tried to kill Bush or mm -hmm. Bush, like Bush daddy mm -mm. or George W. They threw a shoe at him. Unless you want to consider, you know what I'm saying, like 9 11. Yeah, like, ain't, but he wasn't but, in them. Guys. Right. So, no, we, I'm talking about attempts we know. Mm -hmm. Like they get shot. Reagan nah. got shot. Yeah. That, that, no, bro. Nothing in our time, bro. That. Uh, thank you. I, I think we do. <sighs> Look, what, Mike, look what's going on right now in the world. I, ah, bro, Mike, Michael, Michael, look what's going on in the world right now, G. <laughs> this is some shit we ain't never seen before. We would hate to manifest something like that into the atmosphere, but I'm hey. Not manifesting not shit. Not manifesting it, but you know. I'm preparing myself. If anything, I'm out here. I'm preparing myself. Yeah. But I, look, it's weird, fam. This is weird. You turn on <laughs> CNN, this is weird. These niggas is talking about everything from from it's a it's a protest planned in fifty states in D.C. All for this nigga. All <laughs> for this nigga. <laughs> Do you see these videos in the Capitol building inside of the Capitol building now? They got new video, but these people know where the fuck to go. Mm -hmm. I saw one video. Shout out to the security guard. I think he was leading them in the wrong direction. Man, shout out to the black dude. Yeah, yeah shout out to him, fam. He did his job. Like, was he a police officer? He was just security. Uh, he U.S. Capitol Police. Shout okay. out to Eugene Goodman. Hopefully, okay, he yeah. stays alive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember, I don't know if you just just go read and what and learn what happened to the nigga who caught Watergate. Mm -hmm. Just read or what or watch. She hate me with mm -hmm. Spike Lee. Spike Lee movie. Mm -hmm. Watch, learn. Excuse me. Learn what happened to him. Mm -hmm. Black people don't never fare well in this shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, go back to Christmas Addicts. We don't fare well on either side of this. But anyway, they rumors about shit being planned in all fifty states and DC. That's one. Look at some of these videos. Some of these people know where the fuck to go. Yeah, you ain't. I ain't never been in the. That's like me going into the Capitol. And being like, hey, 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 no, the basement <laughs> is, that's like me coming to your house. Like, no, nah, man, the basement is two doors to the left. That mm -hmm. first door is the bathroom. Mm -hmm. The second door is the basement. You going to look at me like, man, what how the fuck you been in my house? <laughs> how you know where my, how you know where my basement is, fam? Yeah. You know, look at your wife crazy. Like, so how, mm -hmm. how bang know how to get into the basement? <laughs> He been here before. That's the only way he'll know. No, right. he got shit, babe. no, ain't no guessing in the fucking Capitol building. Is like the 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 dude. I think his name is Ali Alexander. Or some shit. Mm -hmm. The one who put together the 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 um the stop the steal, which it was the stop the steal rally that turned into a riot. Right. He, I think he said that three Congress people were involved. In his shit, and he mm -hmm. kind of made it seem like all this shit was playing. Right. I wouldn't be shocked if a couple of these new Congress people, there's got to be somebody new. Yeah. <clears throat> was like, oh yeah, we gonna we gonna let y'all know what to do. We gonna let y'all know what to do. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. We we gonna let y'all know what to do. Don't even worry about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you got the one lady in Georgia who's a uh, who who supports all this shit. Say she's going to, she's going to create articles of impeachment for um, Biden mm -hmm. as soon as he as soon as he sworn in. Like bitch, he ain't did shit. Are you Why? serious? The power. What fucking power is abusing? This niggas, a, this niggas not a senator. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Mike, I ain't putting shit past Ooh. nobody. I'm telling you, we going I'm not saying it's gonna happen, but if I'm watching. Biden, if some bullshit happens, and I ain't talking about it, I ain't talking about assassination attempt. 
talking about some bullshit. Just mm. bullshit in general. Some some mm. nigga to just get through. Fuck you, Biden. That's not going. Nothing is off the table, G. It's gonna be a tough four years for Biden, huh? <sighs> yeah. No. I'm no 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 no. I think I think the first year is gonna be tough. Mm-hmm. I think once the dust settles and we done with all of this Trump shit, every I think every, things will never get back to normal. Mm-hmm. There's things will never get back to normal. You mean as far as like you know life. within with, like far as life within the world, as far as oh, like you know possible right. The world is looking at us like, oh, these niggas some bitches over there. Some of them probably like, man, you sure we can bomb these motherfuckers real quick? They wouldn't even know. They too busy fighting each other. Like, I'm telling you, all bets. This is the shit that you read in your in your history books. Mm-hmm. This is almost like ghostwriter. Yeah, just popping out of the book and shit. Yeah, and just writing shit about to go down. <laughs> read page twelve. And then you go to tw- tw- page 12 and there's some shit that happened in 1955. And then you look at the TV and the same shit happening now. That's what this shit is, right? I'm not putting nothing... I'm not putting past nothing no more. And, mm-hmm. and to keep it a buck, this is white people shit. <laughs> this ain't niggas. So I'm definitely not going to put nothing past no white person. Next thing you know, we look at the TV. It's a white person with two first names. Uh (laughs) John Fitz, John Franklin Carruthers (laughs) did did some stupid shit. Because you know, you know when motherfuckers, like motherfuckers shoot somebody, they go, they hit them with the whole name. Lee Harvey Oswald. Yeah. I forgot my man who shot Reagan. They hit you with the three names. Like that's what we bro. get. That's what that's what that's I'm a possibility. Not, I'm not putting nothing past none of these white folks, G. None. I'm gonna say a prayer over the world, I'm, over the United States of America, on inauguration day for this whole. Like, they mad at the whole reason why they in power. <clears throat> like I'm not putting nothing. I'm not. Look, here's how much I'm not putting past past people. And I said this shit last week. Watch the last, what was Return of the Stiff? The, mm. the third prequel of the Star Wars. When 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 um when homie Anakin turned into Darth Vader, mm-hmm. killed all of the Jedi and shit. Okay. And the uh, um the stormtroopers turned on niggas. They fighting this shit, and all of a sudden they turned around, zoom. And they was the Jedi looking like, oh shit, what the fuck? I thought we was together. <laughs> Gee, you can't go to the National Mall. For those who don't know, the National Mall is where all the fucking monuments this shit is at. From everything from the goddamn Lincoln Memorial mm-hmm. to the Washington Monument, <clears throat> the, the African American Museum, the, all of Smith, Smithsonian shits. Yeah, that's National Mall. They blocking that whole fucking area off. That's like blocking off Columbus Park. Mm-hmm. That's like blocking off Miller Meadow. They blocking all that off. How? And then they got they got National Guard, fam. Mm-hmm. If National Guard would have turned around and be like, It would not surprise me, G. It would not. <laughs> I'd be on. I'd be looking at. T- I told y'all. I told y'all. <laughs> niggas, I told y'all. Miriam be looking like, well, what are we gonna do here? We fucked, but I told y'all, niggas. <laughs> oh my god! Y'all. I'm telling you, just stay inside the house on Wednesday, bro. Okay? Would not put. I'm telling you, don't go for your morning walk, bro. Chill. No, I use the Apple Plus shit now. I ain't leaving the house. Okay. But I'm, Mike, I'm telling you, I went to Bible camp, remember? Mm-hmm. They said the Antichrist supposed to be somebody you fuck with, then all of a sudden he just turned on your ass. Tell you, the mark of the beast might not be 666. <clears throat> wow, <Wild>, bro. <laughs> then next thing you know, we got next thing you know, we got to walk when we walk out the house. We got to do this when we walk out the house. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> hey, JR, how you doing? Yeah, I'm doing fine. <laughs> good? <laughs> yeah. You know, everything's okay? Yeah. Yeah. Um, some dude pie, man. We shall see, man. We shall I, see. I don't want to see. Not if we're talking about this on Martin Luther King's birthday. Don't want to see. Uh, yeah. Don't want to see, Mike. I, I hope I'm thinking too much. I don't want to see. Yep. All right, Mike. Let's get to the nuts and bolts of this shit. What's good? I'm a bear fan. You're a cowboy fan. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you your flowers today, Mike. Okay. I'm gonna give you your flowers today. And I'm gonna give uh, it's two people I'm gonna get their flowers today. I'm gonna give you your flowers today. I'm gonna give Keith Urquhart. I'm gonna give Urk his flowers. Mm-hmm. First, I'm start with Irk. Detroit Lions is terrible. <laughs> they terrible. They terrible. Irk, shout out to Irk. But he's he's a listener. He gonna talk his shit, man. Irk probably talked shit during the 0 16 season, man. That <laughs> yeah, man, fuck y'all, hey, 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 <laughs> fuck y'all, <there>, like. <laughs> We, st I'm still. Yeah, he probably stand still, he, strong. Irk, Irk stand strong. Yeah, he stand strong on his team. No matter. Hey, they fired a black coach for no reason. They fired a black coach with a good record mm -hmm. to replace to replace the black coach with a white coach who was what nine and twenty seven or twenty three somewhere in there. He's terrible. Mm -hmm. They Barry Sanders and Calvin Johnson retired mm -hmm. rather than play another game with this team. <laughs> Matt Stafford <laughs> might be the third best player in the history of that franchise between after Barry Sanders and, and Herman Moore. That's crazy. If you really look at the list of like Detroit not a lot. players, bro, not a lot of GOAT talent. Them niggas, from the these Detroit are the best franchise. players in the history of their franchise, Mike. That's crazy. What Barry Sanders, Herman Moore. Um, no, excuse me. Barry Sanders, Calvin, Calvin Johnson. Johnson, Herman Moore, Matthew Matt Stafford, Stafford <laughs> Billy Sims. Okay. Chris Spillman. It's probably six. They don't have 10 greats. I I don't think they do. Hmm. That's interesting. That team with Y.A. Tittle, maybe. I don't know who's on the fucking team in the 60s or the 70s. I don't know, but. Yeah. Ain't shit on that team, Mike. <laughs> ain't shit been on that team. Nah. Don't tell Irk that shit, though. <laughs> what Irk gonna say? Hey, man. Detroit still my home. Yeah. Still ride with the Lions. What are you talking about? I got a Detroit Lions hat that I said I was going to give Earth. I got it down here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. It's mired in mediocrity. I said I was going to give him that. I said I was going to give him that hat. I wore it one time. It's my, I, that team, that team is a team that you don't expect to do shit. Like the NFL don't give a fuck about the Detroit Lions. Except, <laughs> well, they only give a fuck about them doing Thanksgiving. Literally, that's it. That's the only time the NFL be like, hey, y'all should give a fuck about the Lions. Mm -hmm. It's Thanksgiving. I don't even know what's so important to Thanksgiving in Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> Why we got to watch them on Thanksgiving? People and ask yeah. a great question about the Cowboys. Why does the Cowboys play? No, no, no. The Cowboys is America's team, Mike. Uh, yeah. They are America's team. They're the most profitable franchise in sports. But and y'all got titles, nigga. These niggas ain't been to a in a. I don't think they've been to the NFC Championship game since 1992. Damn. I can't remember the last time they've been to the playoffs. When have the when have you ever heard the term Detroit Lions and Super Bowl contender in the same sentence? We haven't. Ever. Not in my, excuse me, not in my lifetime. The only. Only thing is synonymous with Detroit football is Thanksgiving. That's and tough. yet, you can't tell or you can't tell tell it from him. Can't. 
going to ride with that team to the wheels fall off. As he should. You. You is what I consider smart Cowboys fan. You be pissed when they lose, but respect the star. I'm going to ride out for my team. End of the season. You might be like, yo, I don't know about Matt McCarthy, but shit. When they tell you he stand, you like, all right, man, we just going to ride this bitch out. We're just going to ride it out, bro. You I'll see what happens. I've not I've I've done a great job at being a good sport when it comes to my team yeah. in general. I have I'm still still working on social media though as far as like with comments and shit be yeah, you work on it, yeah, but I, I still, I'm still working part, on that, but for the most part though, yeah. But for the most part, you understand that's your team, and if you're gonna rock with them, you're gonna rock with them. Absolutely. And we ah. have a, I, I need to have a conversation with Bears fans. What kind of conversation you need to have with Bears? I'm so interested in this conversation right I'm, now. I'm, I mean, I wrote some stuff down because I've always said, I, and if people, I don't want like you know to. I don't yeah. want to, you know, have the misconception in the air that I don't fuck with the Bears. Uh, I like, would. I think, I think it's a lot of that. Like, I think no, no, a, lot I people, a lot of people Mike. have mistaken like statuses and shit that I've posted about Mike. the Bears. In Mike, you ain't got to ask nobody for that shit. Because honestly, <laughs> the way these niggas act, yeah, there's a reason why you don't, you shouldn't fuck with the Bears. Mm -hmm. Because of Bear fans. Bear fans don't want you to fuck with the Bears. Now, mm -hmm. I'm gonna read some shit. Because this is why I believe that Bears fans need to have a come come to Jesus meeting. Mm -hmm. They need to sit down, look, put a put a mirror on the table, sit down, talk to yourself. Yeah. Hey, nigga, let's have a talk. Now, where is this all coming from, bang? I'm told you're gonna get to the. This, this is coming from the end of the season. The Bears season is over with. We lost to the, the New Orleans Saints as expected. Mm -hmm. I don't know why niggas thought we had a chance. I picked them because I am a Bears fan. Well, let's say this, though. I said on the pod last week that if the Bears put themselves in position to steal the game, they could they could possibly win. But if, every, if every, fifth, situation, every situation, every situation that the Bears had last week, every scenario that that was possible. Mike, Mike, that's, that's, anyway. like, that's like saying if this girl let me finger fuck her, <laughs> I got a chance of having sex with her. This is a fact, though. Of course, we know that, Mike. <laughs> but but, but you every once in a while, but every once in a while, when you was younger, you finger a girl, and she comes, and she be like, "Oh, my mama here, my mama about to come. You gotta go." And you like, "What, yeah. bitch?" <laughs> no, but go ahead, though. But go ahead. So, I, I I thought about some of the complaints Bears fans have. Okay, and 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 the ones that I hear the most. And when I wrote them, when you hear them, there's one thing. But I actually wrote them down, and I said to myself, if I believe this, if I believe this, why am I a Bears fan? Why? If I believe any of the things that I'm about to go down this list, why am I a Bears fan? If I believe any of this. Talk that shit. Number one. The team is racist and don't want a black QB. Hmm. If I'm a black man, why am I a Bears fan? If I believe that the team is racist and don't want a black quarterback. I, I, I kind of see where you're coming from with that one because a lot of people do that with like Jerry Jones. Everybody thinks Jerry Jones is MAGA and all of this shit. Yes. I mean, he is, but does that necessarily make him a racist? No, but yeah, exactly. It, but you got a black quarterback. Exactly, you had a couple. couple. Bears had Henry Burris and they had Cordell Stewart. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to say they didn't get certain players because they were black. Mm -hmm. But I'm not in those offices, so I don't but know. But you already know where that come from, right? You see, Bears passed up on two black quarterbacks to get Mitchell Trubisky. <laughs> you know, it's just one and a half, man. They passed on <laughs> well, one and a half. Yeah, but Patrick Mahomes is black, bro. Just leave it. One and a half. <laughs> even the wife said, "Oh, him black? I don't even see him as that." But that's neither here nor that. Hmm. But if the team is racist, if I'm a black man, and this team is racist, I believe they racist. They had a black head coach. 
if I believe this team is racist and they don't want a black quarterback, why am I a fan of them? They cheat. If they cheat, why am I a fan of them if I know they ain't going to spend no money? Mm-hmm. Oh, Bears, Chicago Bears don't care about the Bears fans. They care about them. Well, why am I a fan? If they racist and won't ha- get a black quarterback, if they cheat and they don't care about the fans, why am I a Bears fan? Mm-hmm. Oh, they still living in 1985. I was born in 1982, fam. I was two going on three. When the Bears no, won. I was three. Excuse me, my bad. I was three going on four. <clears throat> when the Bears won the Super Bowl. When the Bears won the Super Bowl. So I ain't see it. Mm-hmm. But they went to the Super Bowl in 2000s. I saw that they lost. Mm-hmm. They should have won the game, but I saw that they lost. But, mm-hmm. but, it, but I see Richard Dent as walk down the hall, get a free meal because he Richard Dent. They still, why am I a fan of them if they living in a time where I ain't really see the shit? Mm-hmm. Oh, did I mention? Oh, they did Walter Payton wrong in the Super Bowl. Elaborate. Oh, come on, yeah. fam. Instead of giving him the ball to score the touchdown, they gave it to the fridge. <laughs> Mike Dick even said that that was a mistake that he made. Yeah. They did Walter Payton wrong, fam. This is the greatest player in the history of your franchise. Mm-hmm. One of the greatest players of all time. He been with your team since 1975 when you ain't had no offensive line, when you ain't had no quarterback, when it was just him. And you get to the Super Bowl mm-hmm. and you don't give him the rock so he could get in mm-hmm. the score in the Super Bowl, you give it to the fridge. Why am I a fan of the Bears? Oh, did I mention they was racist too? <laughs> Why am I a fan of the Bears if I believe they racist? Mm-hmm. The cool clock. I know. I just want to listen. I'm just forgetting to take the battery out, but just, yeah. that just lets everybody you know. got that ring. But yeah, they racist. I mentioned that already. My bad. Oh, they only sign old, washed up players. Hmm. So if your team is racist and don't want a black quarterback, they cheat. They don't care about the fans. They live in 1985. They did Walter Payton wrong. Let me not forget to mention that they were racist and they signed old players. Why the fuck are you a Bears fan? <clears throat> Question. Question. Why? Do I need answers. Why? These are these are actual complaints that you've seen from Bears fans yes. up and down your timeline. Yes. Okay. Why am I a fan of the Bears? If I believe any of those things are true, that's why Bears fans need to have a black bear fans, especially need to have an honest conversation with themselves. Because I see too many black fans. Oh, they don't want no black one. When I put up that, when I put up that post about who you think is going to be the next Bears quarterback. I saw too many people say, well, they won't be black. <laughs> Why are you a Bears fan? <laughs> if you are already- they be like, bear down. <laughs> Why? Why are you a Bears fan? Why? Why? If you believe that any combination of that is true, why? Mm-hmm. Don't say, well, I grew up with that team. So you grew up with racism. Let's end it. Nobody paid you to be a Bears fan. I had a conversation with Trey. Because Trey likes the Kansas City Chiefs. Okay. I think that seems to be like a popular team. To like. Kansas City Chiefs is like the Golden State Warriors. Yeah. I think like it's they're the, the team that's that's you know flashy, score a lot of points. One a like title. One a title. Seems to be the popular choice of like younger kids yeah. growing up. Well, I understand I, that. I had yeah. to tell Trey, you could like the Chiefs because he was scared of his granddaddy. He was scared of his granddaddy. His granddaddy's a Bears fan. So he was like, I ain't trying to tell Papa I don't really fuck with these Bears. 
I mean, I like him because he like him, but I like Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Mm -hmm. I said, as long as you don't like Green Bay, you good. You can like what the fuck you want. I was a fan. I talked about on the pod how I was a fan of Steve McNair, which made me a fan. I was oh no, I was a fan of Warren Moon, which made me a fan of the Houston Oilers because I saw a dope black quarterback. I was also like, you no, know, Curtis Duncan, Haywood Jeffries, all them niggas, uh -huh. Lorenzo High Smith. I used to love those Houston Oilers. Yeah. Into the Tennessee Titans, Steve Nat, uh, Steve McNair, excuse me, uh -huh. Eddie George. Uh -huh. I loved them. Uh -huh. Not as much as the Bears, but that's because I grew up. But then as I grew, but then I also like the Baltimore Ravens. That's kind of like be like be like yo. Team that ain't your team. Or yeah, 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 I like the Baltimore Ravens. Oh, Bears didn't make the playoffs. So go Titans. Yeah, Titans. those are probably the those are probably the two teams outside of the Bears I truly fuck with. Mm -hmm. It took this year for me to be like, man, do you know what their expectations is? I even said on the pod, eight and eight. I'm an objective bear fan. You will never hear me go, oh man, them niggas going 12 and 4 every year. You will never see me go up against the Saints and be like, now be like with the team we got and be like, oh man, we're going any given Sunday. No. <laughs> I consider myself an objective Bears fan. Mm -hmm. Mike, when when the homies be like, oh, so you ain't gonna bet on this Green Bay game. Hell no, I'm not trying to lose no money. <laughs> And I'm no longer going to get mad when we take an L to Green Bay. Okay. But niggas was mad at me. Niggas was mad at me because I said that their goal was to make the playoffs and they did it. Bear down. Nigga, that's what their goal was. To get in the playoffs and then whatever happens, happens. I think we said this shit already. We talked about this last week. I ain't never... About to apologize as a playoffs. fan of my team for making the playoffs at whatever record right. they made it at. They made the playoffs but lost the Green Bay. No, I am a mature nigga now. Mm -hmm. But I don't believe that the Bears don't want a black quarterback. I believe that they prior to prioritize a nigga over another and made a mistake. Yeah. I don't think they was like, well, we're not going to draft Deshaun Watson because he's black. And give a fuck if he won a national championship. Mm -hmm. I thought they saw the long-term potential in Mitchell Trubisky more than they did in Deshaun Watson. Truth be told, I didn't like any of those quarterbacks when they came into the draft that year. Pat Mahomes, you could talk all that. I, love, I knew Pat Mahomes shit all you want to. Pat Mahomes came from Texas Tech. All the fucking quarterbacks from Texas Tech that came from that that graduated or finished their career with Texas Tech are offensive coordinators or Cliff Kingsbury right now. I, I'm gonna be all the way honest with you. I don't even have no recollection of Patrick Mahomes in college. I don't even. This nigga wasn't remember. watching Texas Tech. Yeah, I don't remember. Texas Tech wasn't coming on the fucking TV. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, even the SEC network niggas were like, "We about to spotlight Texas Tech as yep. they go up against Baylor." No. No, they wasn't. But the yards he uh, uh, he got and all that stuff made him a viable candidate. And the quarterback position now more than ever with his skill set works. But uh -huh. he's still a Texas Tech quarterback. Niggas look at them niggas like, oh, man, they'll be an offensive coordinator in five years. <laughs> that nigga broke the mold. Kansas City traded up a, to get him. He broke a lot of modes. Like he broke a mold as far as like like you said, yeah. being a possible being a Texas Tech. Like we're not looking down there at these college football players like that. And also he sat behind what Alex Smith, Alex Smith. Alex, for a whole Deshaun, season. Right. Deshaun Watson, I was like, uh, but I don't trust him either. I wanted the Bears to draft Jamal Adams and grab a QB in the second round. This is why I'm not a GM, though. So I'm not going to look at hindsight and be like, oh, man, the Bears fucked up by not getting Patrick Mahomes. Because if I go back, no, no nigga was like, man, we got to go get Pat Mahomes. He was the third quarterback on the total pole. Niggas was like, go get Deshaun Watson. 
I remember the day of that draft. I remember. <laughs> I read. And I was like, remember. man, I don't know about this QB, but shit, it better work. <laughs> I'm not watching North Carolina football games. But if it came in my mind that the Bears did not draft Deshaun Watson because he was black, I'm not, I'm not a Bears fan. Mm-hmm. So to any Bear fan who believes that, you endorsing racism. <laughs> oh, man, they ain't trying to. Well, why are you a fan? Why are you a fan? If you feel the motherfuckers is racist at the very least, why are you a fan still? Mm-hmm. Don't say, oh, well, I grew up on them. That's all I know. No, nigga. <laughs> Stop using these fake ass talking points. And that's to the people who believe that and still are Bears fans. Because I can't see myself endorsing racism by liking a team that I know that's clearly racist. Or cheat. Huh? Or don't care for the fans. None of the things that I name. <clears throat> like I'm at the mo- I'm at the moment right now. You ride with your team, good or bad, happy or sad, or just go like somebody else. This is why I don't mind now officially. I don't mind LeBron James fans. Mm-hmm. He switch a team. Okay. Fucking with that team. Mm-hmm. I have more respect for them than any nigga that's a Bears fan. That believes the list that I named. Let's go through that list again. Mm-hmm. The list. The team is racist and don't want a black QB. They cheat. They don't care about the fans. They still live in the 1985. They fucked over Walter Payton, man. I am Mike Dicker. He was a racist. Even though he gave the fridge to Paul. The fridge was black. <laughs> Only sign, oh, he, but he racist, though, man. Oh, yeah. Um, no, I, 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 they only sign old players. So why are you still a fan? Go like Green Bay. They winning. Go like the Colts. Go like the Patriots. Go like the Browns. Fucking with the Cleveland Browns right now. Go like another team. There's nothing in the rule book that says you have to be. Fo- you have to like the Bears, and that's it. According to the rules, a lot of shout out to the people that say you shouldn't root for a team if you don't live in that if you don't live in that city. Fuck all that. So if you believe any (laughs) of those things, stop, stop, you know, stop liking the Bears. I'm telling y'all today. This is my this. Let me let me do this intervention real quick. To all of you Bears fans, first of all, you need to acknowledge your problem. The first step of start the first step of getting over a problem is admitting that you have a problem. <laughs> Your problem is that you love the Bears. Now, I like the Bears too. But your issue is deeply rooted. Mine's isn't. You love the Bears, but you told me these things. The team is racist. And they don't want a black QB. They're cheap. They don't care about you fans, especially black ones. They still live in the 1985. And matter of fact, they did Walter Payton wrong in that Super Bowl in 1986. Yeah. I forgot to mention that they're racist. And they only signed the old players. By that list, you should not be a fan. If you went to work, and you felt that your boss was racist, you're probably going to quit your job or do something to get fired. If you were constantly asking for a raise and your boss told you no, you're going to be like, yo, my boss is cheap. And I don't want to be there no more. I'm going to go look for another job. If your boss don't care about your work, you're going to be gone too. If your boss does not see the good that you're doing, but the old nigga that's been here for 55 years and still ain't retired, <clears throat> mop a floor, and they be like, oh, great job, Mike. Mike's been here for 55 years. He's dope. He's great. He's never going to retire. If you still got, if you still living in the past with a team and get mad when they lose, 
and be like, oh man, Keith Van Horn would have done that. <laughs> if you really truly believe that the Bears did Walter Payton wrong, he should got that touchdown chance. <laughs> oh, they're just racist. <laughs> but it's not no play. Yeah. You should not want to be a fan of that team no more. You should want to distance yourself from that team. You will want to be like, you know what? I'm going to be a, a free agent. I'm going to look for a team. To, I like the 49ers now. Why? Because they're colors. <laughs> Is that why people like teams nowadays? Nah, some do. They got nice jerseys. Some do. But if you fit in any of those in that, any of that criteria, mm-hmm. you have to stop being a Bears fan. Find you another fan. Do it. Do it. Find you another team. Just look at all of the teams. Remove the Bears helmet. What team am I going to be a fan of? Be a fan of that team. If if not, be Keith Urquhart. Be Urk. Understand that your team is flawed, but you love that team. That's me as well. That's you. That's Urk. Yeah. I ain't never seen a nigga cheer for a team that went on 16. <laughs> You, it can't be. It's either Uchi Wally is it one, Mike? Is he the one way or the other? <coughs> Fix it, Bears fans. Fix it. <laughs> Fix it. Some do pod, man. Make sure you rate, like, subscribe, download to the pod. See, I know why you did that earlier, Mike. What I know why you went a little bit hard on the introduction. Why you saw that tech, you saw that group, you saw that, um, that thread. Go live. No, nigga. We listen. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, you're taking all the fun out of it. If we just go live, you're not going to come actually into the network, bro, and see what's really happening with this. You're not going to listen to the pod, motherfucker? You only, oh, man, they're about to go live. No, <laughs> go live. Nah, bro. We need them streams, baby. We need them views. We need that support. We go support live. Bro. us. No, listen to this pod. Nick nigga, nigga rate. Rate, like, subscribe, bro. Hey man, y'all on bullshit. There you go. That's what we want. That's what, That's we, what want. we want. We want you to do that. Get into the group and talk your shit after you listen to the pod. Like the nigga. <clears throat> the harm can't, nigga. You can't get nothing off them Facebook comments. Yeah, the harm nigga. The nigga come on the on the goddamn group and shit. With the little and the little Wayne joint. Well, I can see what low I can see what he's saying. Nigga, did you listen to the pod for context? No. Why the fuck is you here? <laughs> Why? Why? Listen to the pod for context. All context is right there. Don't assume what Mike talking about if you ain't listening to the goddamn pod. You did kind of say that shit about um Lil Wayne accent though. Uh, I did. I, I even had to you I even had of, to go back and listen. You kind <laughs> of said it. it. It wasn't the way that he actually made that post. No, no, no. I get what you're saying, but you <laughs> kind of it was a whole you didn't misquote. Say exactly that. It was a whole misquote. A you whole didn't misquote. say exactly that. I didn't say exactly that. I didn't say I but I might have said something in that area, but it was not in those it. words. It was it's that paraphrasing. <laughs> Go back and listen to what exactly we were talking about. Did you would understand? So paraphrasing. Okay, sorry, bro. It, yeah, it, it, yeah, listen, goddamn pod, fam. Like, listen, to shit. Tell yeah. a friend to tell a friend. Listen to the pod. Don't listen to the pod. Then come back into the group, hey. and you know, saying. So talk whole about universe here. Shout out to homie Joe. Shout out to homie Joe Flowers. He heard that. He listened to the pod. He said that he disagrees with me saying that I felt like, you know, a majority, a mass, a mass amount of people have Eminem in their top five, top ten. He he claims he disagrees. He feels like it's really it, the the number of people is not as much as I think it is. So. Now I, I I agree with you on that, but I only agree with you because niggas be lying on their top ten. 
<laughs> That's why we got the shirt. Everybody can't be in your top ten because niggas be like, like in the Lil Wayne shit. It's like, okay, no, the comments. Somebody said something about comments. Um, I think it was shot. I forgot who who it was. That's that's that asked the question about common. Oh, no, it was, like Kobe. it was you, Kobe. Shouts out to you, Kobe. You said it's common in, in your top 10. Yeah, you, Kobe, was like, it's common in your top 10. Mm-hmm. And he's like, he ain't in mine. Um, and niggas was like, oh, they damn top. Okay, if he's in, if if common is in your top 10, give me your top 10. And I forgot who it was, but they gave their top 10 and common wasn't in it. But they said, yeah, that common was in their top 10. But you also know the re- another reason why we made that shirt is because motherfuckers be making they list and then they be like, oh, one A, one B, oh, it's a tie, it's a tie. or uh, I notable, tie here. notable mentions, and honorable mentions, and shit like that. Look like, bro, honorable you know, I haven't gotten an honorable mention award in school. You do that motherfucker <laughs> way before you got home. <laughs> You know, you be, people got to throw the honorable mention in there, you know what I'm saying, just so they don't feel like they leaving yeah, somebody out. That's what you can do, honorable. <laughs> you, don't wanna, fuck up. you don't want to leave anybody out, bro. So you got to be like, ah, I love these guys, but, you know. Leave uh, out. Uh, leave uh. out. <laughs> if you traded the top 10 girls, you fuck, you're not going to be like, man, I got to put, I got to put Cynthia, Tammy, and Marie at eight. Shout out to, but shout out to uh, Nicole, though, because, you know, she like, <laughs> she right there. Yeah, she right there, you know. Right there. Right there. <laughs> you just did this. You just did this. Niggas gotta you know? stop that shit, man. Stop caping for niggas that don't pay you. You pay them. <clears throat> Ain't no way. Stop worrying about other niggas list too. It's like that's a great segue, Mike. Hmm. Uh, one of the last things we get to talk about because, like I said, there wasn't a lot of shit that went on because the world is at edge. Um. Mm-hmm. Uh, fuck, man. It, I think it was an old list too. I don't even think that list was new, but uh, people were up in arms in the group about Funk Flex's a uh, 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 greatest of all time list from Funk Master Flex. Matter of fact, let me go to his Instagram and see if that was um, if that was on there. Hold on for a second. Uh, while I'm looking for this, shouts out to all of the AKAs and the Deltas. Hmm? Happy Founders Day. Happy Founders Day for y'all both. Wait, what are we looking for? We looking for Funk Flesh list? Yeah. I got it. Is it? I'm talking about, no, I'm talking about to see. I'm trying to see. Oh, if I, just, is. I didn't see the back half of this list. I only saw the first half. No, I'm trying to see if it was on um, his latest to see if it's a new list. I'm, try, I'm trying to find his, his Instagram page. I know it, but hold on for a second. Funk Flex. Funk Flex. Let me let me hold on for a second. Let me let me. Oh my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Nope. My bad. <laughs> Nigga, that is hilarious. Miriam is gonna kick your ass, dog. <laughs> no, but here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, oh, this is a new list. That was three days ago. Okay. Just my opinion. So. Quickly roll them off. We started uh, twenty five. Nobody give a fuck about the other half. Twenty five. Remy Ma. Red Man. Fabulous. Buster Rhymes. Twenty two. Buster Rhymes. Twenty one. Cameron. Twenty. 20 Big Daddy Kane. Nineteen. Mace. Eighteen. Styles P. Um. Seventeen. Kanye and Questionable Pen. Okay. Sixteen. Fifty Cent. Fifteen is Eminem. Fourteen. LL Cool J. Thirteen. Lil Wayne. Twelve. Slick Rick. 11 KRS 1. 10 Black Thought. Uh, number 9 Jadakus. Uh, number 8 Pusher T. Uh, number 7 Kendrick Lamar. Number 6 J. Cole. I'm getting the questionable pen ones Drake. <laughs> questionable pen. Number 4 Rakim. Um, number 3 Nas. Number 2 Andre 3000. And number 1 Jay Z. Now, do if I look at this list, I'm not putting Andre 3000 on my list. Yeah, I think, and we've been very vocal about Andre 3000 being in anybody's top 10 list. Right. We have our reasons, so go back and check the archives on why. Right. Go ahead. And some of these people ain't in my top 25. I honestly haven't never really made a top 25 I, I don't give before. a fuck about I don't give a fuck, I about, fuck about that as well. Like, after 10, we really don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck about 11 through 50. <laughs> I 
don't think I'm we sorry. care. Like if even even going to like the, the, the twenty six to fifty, like uh, ASAP Rocky, the Young Thug, Nicki Minaj. Go I'm if these never, niggas ain't the top ten. I'm never gonna actually take that much time and put yeah, that much thought into trying to ponder. figure out. Let me find the eleven favorite me after bro. ten. After ten, even if you do, even if you don't care about anybody after five, I perfectly understand. Yeah. But after ten, no, that's you're dead. picking people. <laughs> the niggas was up in arms. Funk Flex has a way of getting underneath. No, skin. it's not even Funk Flex. I'm gonna tell you what is is these lists. Everybody be wanting to tell you that you wrong about your opinion. It's an opinion. I. That's Funk Master Flex's list. His list is going to be different than mine. When you started this pod, I think that was around the time when the list was like really popping. Yeah. That, like, that was around the time when people was really like making lists of like who was in their top and like, you know, uh, who's their favorite artist at the time, who's their you know, favorite artist of all time. Like, like, oh, oh, Funk Master Flex is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Why is Young Thug number 50? Hey, nigga, that's his list. He likes them. <laughs> Fuck is you mad at? But. Here's the if you have to watch the 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 interview with Gilly Wallow from Million Dollars Worth of Game and Fuck Master Flex on Instagram Live. Um you gotta watch that and um and and see what he was talking about. But on this list of his, he had Jay-Z as the greatest of all time. But in what? a roundabout way, in the in the conversation with Gilly and Wallow, he explained why he believed that Drake is the greatest of all time. Okay. If you're not questioning pens. Okay. Now, I don't have to agree with Funk Master Flex here. All I ask is for consistency. Mm-hmm. But here's another Having having honest conversations with people. What do fuck master flex lists have to do with your blood pressure being raised? <laughs> it should. Why is he crazy for having Drake in his top five? Because you don't like Drake? <clears throat> See how that sounds, Mike? Yep. I don't like something, so you're crazy because I don't you don't like what I like. Go to the some dude pie merch though. What you listen to don't make me buy. It don't. <clears throat> but let's look at this list though, anyway. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Let's look at this. Listen, by the way, he has common is 34. Okay. Um, is there anybody on this list on the top 25 list that you're shocked that is you're shocked about his position that they have him at? Yeah, give me one. I mean, Ma, let's just be all the way clear here, bro. Let's just be let's just be all the way 100 right now. Yeah, <clears throat> that's that's the first thing I noticed about this. Like Remy Ma, when I look at female rappers, Remy Ma's she's nice, but when we talking greatest of all time, you got Nicki Minaj forty nine. <sighs> th- 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 right, that's what I'm saying. I- I'm getting there, but <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> but when we talk about female rappers, and you don't mention Little Kim. It don't it don't sit well with me, bro. Like you got Remy by 25. You don't even have Kim on here or Foxy. That shit is annoying to me. He likes them. I that's and that's perfectly fine. That's his list, but that's just something that I notice. And Funk Flex needs to be ashamed of himself, I think, a little bit. I don't know, bro. Like, come on, dog. You was I, I'm there. Not gonna say he needs to be ashamed of himself. Not ashamed, bro, but you was there, bro. You was there. No, no I'm gonna I'm go go back to what I said. That's his list. That's who he likes. I don't get it. 
<laughs> we don't have to understand it, though. You're right. So, respect to his list, but that's one thing. That's the first thing I noticed. <clears throat> um, Cause I, I'll tell you mine real quick. For what? Lauren Hill at 42. Okay. I'm sorry. That body of work, her album, her debut album, her only solo album has only five rap songs on there. Not enough to, to, to be mentioned in this case. Oh, man, I'm sorry, but I can name five verses from Lil' Kim. I, no, excuse me. I can name five songs from Lil' Kim that's better than the five songs from, from Lauryn Hill. That's shocking that you can do that, too. Yeah, yeah, I can. <laughs> Big mama thing. Okay, there you go. No matter what people say. Hey, all right. Our verse from Quiet Storm. Like, come on, fam. Let's stop overrating Lauren Hill and just say she has an incomplete career. What you got? Um, what's another one on here? Um, he got yeah, Young Thug on here. Yeah, Young Thug on a top fifty. Hey, it's just like, all right. Let me let me dive into the top twenty five real quick. Let me see what's what's. Um, I'm not mad. I, I'm low key. I ain't mad at his top 25. Uh, I'm going to tell you. Okay. It's really the only question. You know what? I'm not going to front. It's a small issue that I take. Of, I take. I won't say it's an issue. It's a small like, hey, man, he, he has to explain why Mace is ahead of Cameron on this list. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I need an explanation on that. Because at I the do. end of the day, if you really look at Mace's career, first of all, shout out to Cameron because Cameron has longevity. Cameron just dropped a solid ass project at the end of 2019, Purple Haze okay. 2. Um, so Cameron has done more for the hip hop game than Mace has done. More influential artists. We need to talk about skill set. Cameron is. Far more influential to the hip hop community. Than I was Mason. not seeing that. I, I that's the one that I was like, yeah. I there's there. I wish I can have a conversation with Flex about this list. Mm -hmm. Not to dissect it to say that he's wrong or shit. Mm -hmm. Because you want to know where his mindset is. Like when I really want to know. Like when I look at when I look at Mace being at nineteen and Cameron at twenty one. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in that. I'm interested at um I'm interested at um J. Cole being six. Mm -hmm. But Kendrick Lamar being seventh. He got ASAP Rocky over Raekwon, bro. <laughs> I, I'm always oh, interested in I'm always interested in the conversation around 3K. Mm-hmm. And why and why with no solo project and doing half of the work, we put him so high. And and here's here's why. And it's not just fuck master flex, it's niggas like you. And I ain't talking about Mike B. I'm talking about niggas who listen to this pod. Mm -hmm. People have these conversations and these debates, and they talk out of their ass. Mm -hmm. They will. They will, they will say one thing to down a rapper and use the same thing that they're downing this rapper to build up this other rapper. So I'm always interested in hearing people's conversations and how they quantify things because then I'll call you out on your bullshit. I'll give you a perfect example of what happened today. Hey, babe. What up? He don't even have Tupac on here, bro. Oh, he doesn't like Tupac. He I, hates I, Tupac, remember? That is fucking hilarious, so bro. He hates Tupac. Like, I, I knew Tupac I, wasn't going to be on that list. And I understand that, but you can't. Nah, he, I knew that shit. All bullshit aside, fam, I ain't the craziest Tupac fan ever. <laughs> but there's no way you put 50 rappers. He wasn't going to do that. Tupac. He, I wasn't even expecting that. He wasn't gonna do that at all. 
Um, but I'm always, I'm always interested in hearing people quantify certain shit. So like I would be interested. I would be interested in that whole Drake, Drake Cole, Kendrick Lamar dichotomy. Cause he put him let people put Kendrick so far on the pedestal. And on that list, he has Kendrick as last in that group. Mm-hmm. Interesting to me. Okay. Okay. It's very interesting to me. I'm like, hmm. <clears throat> You mean between you said between Drake, J. Cole, and Kendrick? Yeah, he has Drake fifth, J. Cole sixth, Kendrick Lamar second. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he had that. I'm I looked at that and was like, mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is Big Sean on that list? Big Sean is on his list. Big Sean is back, back in the back though, 41. Mm. Got Meek on here, 40. Mm. Ice Cube at 38. Ooh, that's um uh, yo, do you already got Snoop on here, bro? You mm. Snoop. Snoop's not on here. That's odd as fuck. Drake would have been my favorite artist of all time. All time. Over Jay-Z. He would have he he surpassed Jay-Z in my book. So and there was no so, reference. So basically... Uh, hold on. You sitting here admitting that Drake is better than Jay-Z, but he you 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 took him off there because you found out he didn't run. Wait, wait, hold on. Because you found out... Yes, I agree. Yes, 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 yes. Drake is better than Jay-Z. Yes, yes, yes. The reference tracks changed me. The reference tracks changed. Let me tell you something. He's busy. He's busy. You better get fucking security. <laughs> I thought it. I thought it's clear. I thought it was their fucking mind. matter of fact. Your no, man. listen. Word to my mother. Word to my mother. Listen, listen. No, 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 no. Uh, this is a produce to be everywhere. Drake is uh-uh. Listen. No, no, no. Let's have some good talk. Come back here. You come back here, Billy. Let's have some good talk. You come back here, Wallow. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Wait, hold on. Let me tell you something. Drake. Hold on. on. Let me tell you something. I don't get. Listen. I want everybody. Personal shit don't mean. Motherfuckers on here watching. I want everybody on here. Personal shit don't mean. Personal shit don't mean shit to me. Personal shit don't mean nothing to me. I may have the way I feel. I Did don't front on the music. I don't Did front on the music. Did y'all have a fallout? Listen. Who? You and Trey? Me and who? Are you back? No. No, who wait. Ain't who ain't invited him to the dinner? <laughs> <laughs> you wasn't at the Rock Nation brunch. He wasn't at the Rock Nation brunch. He ain't. Look, I... I can't be mad at a nigga's list. That's how he feels. I just like to hear how people quantify, like how people put it together. He said the reference tracks fucked it up for him. And, and if we, it wasn't for the reference tracks, Drake could be number one. See, uh, I reference tracks or no reference tracks, Drake is not number one, won't be number one. But I hate when niggas use that film. I like use that shit. Like I literally was just talking to somebody about this shit too. Like, bro, like you really don't know. What was going on in the studio with him and Quentin when they niggas was making that one fucking album? Like, I don't think the, like, I heard the reference tracks. I heard them. I don't really think that discredits Drake in any way, bro. Like, I've heard Drake rap. I've been listening to Drake rap for a long ass time, B. <laughs> since, since Room for Improvement, the mixtape. Like, Drake been getting busy, bro, so. Two fucking three reference songs from an album where he collaborated with a nigga. Bro, gives a fuck. Like I, I think I think it's what we've grown into in hip hop. Like that you have to write your shit. But who says Drake doesn't write his shit? No, I didn't say that he right, I right, just, right, 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 right. That's the I'm that's that's a million dollar question to me. No, no, like, it's but nah, I think when things like this happen, you open yourself up for those questions. 
Absolutely. It's like it's like Barry Bonds didn't take steroids in his time with the Pirates. Mm -hmm. And if he would have retired before he went to the Giants, he would have been a first ballot Hall of Famer. Then. And his first couple of years with the Giants, he didn't take steroids. Mm -hmm. But when he saw the other people shining, mm -hmm. he was like, let me get the clean and the clear out, y'all, motherfuckers. Allegedly. Allegedly. And then now he's on steroids. And now he's not in the Hall of Fame because of what he did for a short time in his career. And not for a long time in his career. So I get it. That one fuck up, that one, two, three fuck ups will cloud how you feel about a player or a person. I get it. But to your point, Drake might have had three reference tracks for those three songs, but still gave you best I ever had. Mm -hmm. But he probably could have had a ghostwriter for that too. Wait, like, what, what, what you call it supposed to be a ghostwriter for that shit? What the fuck was his name? I forgot that nigga name. Nigga from Houston. Yeah, I forgot his name. I got to look at that Brandon will listen to the party. He going to send us a tweet. Or he going to text me and be like, that nigga. Yeah, I forgot his name. Uh, yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> didn't he do like this? I forgot the nigga name. I to go to look it up. I forgot you know, his name. But yeah, it clouds shit. But I'm just not up for getting mad at people's list and getting upset and telling them niggas that they wrong. Because this is who I believe. Motherfucker, you ain't got to believe what I believe. Um, Which, a great transition to the last big topic of the day. This is when people don't read. So, Mike, I'm going to read my Facebook status. Kia Shine. Yeah, that nigga. Yeah. That nigga said that. He said he, he, said he wrote Best I Ever Had, right? Yeah, he wrote that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> uh, hold on for a second. Let me go. Let me go to my Facebook status. Because this is when I knew niggas didn't know how to read. But yeah, shout out to Funkmaster Flex. I mean, that's his list. It's it's some bullshit, but <laughs> I said this. I said this, Mike. Yeah, that's his list. I said this um um 11 hours ago, Mike, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Well, no, not even 11 hours ago. That was the response to this shit. My bad. Um, I said this at 9.59 a.m. yesterday. Okay. I said if LeBron beats the Brooklyn Nets in the NBA Finals, mm -hmm. don't care how it happens, but if it happens, if somebody says he's the GOAT, I will say no argument from me. Okay. Mike, what did I say in that? What did you say, what? What did I say in that status? No argument from you. What does that mean in your opinion? I feel like when you say no argument from me, I, it's more so that you already have it instilled in your mind who your goat is. So nothing anybody says is going to change your opinion. But another person's opinion and you look at it you can understand why somebody would feel like lebron james is the goat i don't really you you the way you saying it it's like if hey at the end of the day that's kind of like that's with me I, I think lebron james can win five more titles michael jeffrey jordan will always be the greatest of all time to me Anytime a greatest of all time conversation comes up, I'm going to always mention Michael Jordan first. But My, but I've watched LeBron James throughout his career. I'm a big fan of LeBron James. I feel like LeBron James is it's Mike LeBron. That's how I've always been. That's how it always will be. But like you're saying, if he does something of that magnitude right now in his career, and then the GOAT conversation is obviously going to, you know, be amongst us again. And we're going to have that argument. Motherfuckers is really going to be using that claim for LeBron James as the GOAT because of what he did. Right. So if people say that, 
Hey, you got it. You got, you got it. it. I ain't mad at you. You got it. <laughs> I can understand totally. That's exactly what that status means. That's, That's exactly what, means. what it means. Mm-hmm. All what that means. <clears throat> if if my man's Marcus Jordan shouts out the swag. If LeBron James were to beat the Brooklyn Nets presently constructed. And he came to me and was like, see, bang, that nigga LeBron is the greatest of all time. I'm be like, you know what? No argument for me. I respect it. I respect it. Mm-hmm. Obviously, he has some claim to it. It's debatable. It's arguable. Absolutely. I just refuse to have that. I will refuse to have that argument if he beats that team. James Harden gets traded to the Nets for a whole lot of shit for a whole lot of teams. Ain't got to go through the whole trade. Just know James Harden is now in a Brooklyn uniform. I don't know how that shit going to work, but they in that uniform. That being said, that's a stacked ass team. Uh Stacked. I don't know who on that team that can stop LeBron or AD. Mm -hmm. There is nobody. But I don't think there's nobody on the Lakers that can stop James Harden, Kevin Durant, or Kyrie Irving. And Kyrie Irving. (laughs) I don't think it is. (laughs) But no matter what happens, if LeBron James were to do that, I'm not arguing with nobody that tells me LeBron James is the greatest of all time. He would have five rings. He would have beaten two super teams. Yes, I do count the Golden State Warriors as a super team. And they were up 3-1. <clears throat> uh-huh. So he would beat them. He would be the team that was up 3-1. And then his Miami rings. Huh? I would not, nigga, you got it. I think if that would have happened, all you niggas should stop having the argument and let the LeBron James fans. Y'all got it. Stop arguing about the shit. At that point, just let them join in the game. <clears throat> You did why even at that point, why would you even argue that if that were to happen? Why would what would even be the point of saying that LeBron James isn't the greatest of all time? I'm not arguing it. You got it. I was still like, I'm not even a fan of saying that somebody is that. Mm-hmm. Unless you just dominate so much. That it transcends. That's why Michael Jordan will always be number one to me. Because I believe his domination trans how he do- he kept a league from having rings, a league full of Hall of Famers. That's a group of Hall of Famers right now that ain't got no rings. Nigga, at least Jerry West got one ring. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> he probably could have a lot more if the Boston Celtics wasn't the Boston Celtics. Mm-hmm. But the only nigga that got a ring is Hakeem Olajuwon in the 90s, basically. Is Hakeem Olajuwon, Isaiah Thomas. And if you want to count 99-2000, Tim Duncan. And like I said, Hakeem Olajuwon know why he got those rings. Right. Oh. <laughs> so, but LeBron James ain't got that type of dominance. But if this nigga, this nigga's been to the finals every year for a while now. Except his first year in L.A. Yeah, except his first year in LA. He took a break. He was hurt. He was growing. Everybody was hurt. Then he got AD. Bruh, I'm not, I'm not gonna waste my breath with these niggas. Cause because then it's gonna be unbearable if this nigga win that shit. <laughs> Can you imagine if LeBron James defeats them? If if he if he defeats All them on one team. What if it gets to the finals 
and he don't win. Oh, all the Jordan, all the Jordan fans gonna be talking their shit. Oh, 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 and I'm not gonna get into the argument either. Yeah. The, if LeBron James beats the Empire, mm-hmm. they wear black and white. Them niggas, the Empire. If LeBron James beats the Empire, do you know the shit talking that LeBron James fans and LeBron? I already know. You wanna you wanna you wanna argue with that? You you're not gonna be able to. You wanna debate with that? You you wanna you want to you want your blood pressure to go so high? There's gonna be fans, there's gonna be Jordan fans whose blood pressure is gonna go high, but like I said, I'm in the I'm in the same boat as you, gang. I'm going to chill on it. And at the end of the day, I love LeBron just like the rest of these LeBron fans. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in the same boat. I'm in this. I'm there. But I'm also going to be at a point where I never say LeBron is the GOAT. I always, yeah. Michael Jeffrey Jordan will always be my GOAT. But LeBron James right there, though. Any GOAT conversation. Be in the conversation. Be in the conversation. He'll always be in the conversation. Yeah, Even if I'm- he don't win another ring. <clears throat> Let's go. Even if he didn't win a ring in LA, he's in the go conversation anyway. But no, that's exactly what no argument means for me. If LeBron James beats the Empire, ain't no argument for me. Ain't no conversation. Ain't none of that shit. Y'all got all. it. Not y'all y'all all. feel how y'all want to feel. We got you. <clears throat> we support you. Not mad at that, that doesn't mean. Me saying no argument for me don't mean that I believe that LeBron James is the GOAT. I, that doesn't mean that I'm going to say LeBron James is the GOAT. When that happens, mm-hmm. it means exactly what I said. No argument. No argument for me. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Do your thing. Yes, sir. Feel how you want to feel. All that shit. Do it. All right, man, last thing before we get out of here, man. There ain't been a lot of new music. Um, I got to check out my girl, Asian. Um, uh, she dropped a new album today, um, an R&B album today. Shouts out to her. Which one is um, that? Which one is that? Which one is that? Which one is it's that? It's actually the first joint on title. Oh, uh, so okay. I saw this. I saw this. Okay. Yeah, she's singing, for the, she's singing for the ladies to the ladies. All right, I'm with it. I'm with it. She, you heard what I said, right? She's singing for the ladies to the ladies. I might hit her up. I might hit them up, see if she join the pod. Talk to her about these joints after we listen to it. I love her. Um, I checked out the you know division they put out. They put out a. I gotta check out the division too. Decent, decent. decent. It's like a little you know deluxe, pretty much a deluxe. Oh, it's a deluxe. Yeah, four joints, and then they got like the the album that they dropped last year connected to it. So pretty much a deluxe. Um, but but album of the year contender so far already. I was gonna say already. Not just R&B album of the year, or just album of the year. Jasmine already. Sullivan already. Jasmine Sullivan and came through and shook the building. Jasmine Sullivan. Hotels. Woohoo! Hotels. Woohoo! She came through, crushed the building. Say the hotels again. Hotels. Woohoo! <laughs> Hotels are there and do fucking do hotels. Yeah, this one is right. This is just you know Jasmine Sullivan. You know, not phony tales or cotton tales. Talking hotels all the way in her bag. Danger right behind you. There's a stranger <laughs> out to find you. What you do is spread on to some hotels. Mm-hmm. It's that uh, this that no filter R and B right here. Yo, um, on it. Straight to it. On it with um, Jasmine Sullivan Ari and Ari Lennox. Oh, yeah. Song of the year. Don't play it because we YouTube. Oh, I'm not playing. I'm not playing. But yeah, I, this is the first. This is the first R&B album by a woman, uh-huh. made by a woman, that I believe that men like more than women. Hmm. I've seen a few women say that they weren't really into the album. I've definitely seen all men. I've seen men praise this I album. I ain't seen the nigga. I ain't seen the nigga get be like this shit huff. Yeah, I haven't seen that either. I've seen a few women say that they ain't that they're not into it, you know. But you know, different strokes for different folks. They you ain't got damn that. right different strokes. <laughs> I heard on it, and I was like, "Yeah, that's the one." 
That's the one. That's the one. I like that joint. I like the joint with uh I like the joint with Anderson Pack too. And I like the yes. joint with uh I like the joint with her at the end, uh last joint on there. I like every song on that bitch. I, 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 like, I, I think interludes. I like every song, yeah. I like Dang. the interludes, oh yeah. Interludes, I think the interludes they they mesh right in perfectly with the way See, the album is going. I think women don't like the album because I think some women, I'm gonna say some women, not all. I don't want to group everybody together, but I think some women don't like the album because that's what they're into and they don't want they, they don't, don't want, want to know that shit. See, they yeah. trying to say Jasmine Sullivan gave out the goods, they weren't gave supposed to notice. Goods, man. <laughs> that's that's my honest opinion when it comes to that part why some women don't like that album. Yeah. Jasmine Sullivan singing on that bitch. She's yeah. singing about real life situations. Yeah, she's sing with, on it with her and Ari Lennox. Look, you look into your wife's eyes and shit on a drunk night. That's her, that's in her head. Mm -hmm. Ladies, if you are in a relationship and you on a drunk night come home and you see your husband, that's what's in your head. <laughs> They don't want to hear it in song though. Mm -hmm. And 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 I don't want nobody to think that Jasmine Sullivan has just been clean Chris R and B. Because she hasn't been just clean Chris R and B. Mm -hmm. She hasn't. Mm -hmm. But let Jasmine Sullivan sing about nasty shit. Absolutely. Fuck out of here. Sing that shit. I'm all for it. I'm all Talk for that it. shit. And she look good as hell. Yeah, she looked good before. She oh, look yeah. good, chunky. Like she's not like that one artist who, who look good, who who look good, chunky, but then they lose weight and they you know big what? head little body. You know what though? I'm a little upset at how good she looks now because I got a picture with Jasmine Sullivan, and this was early Jasmine Sullivan. This was like when she first kicked off her career. She was the day she came up to GCI. She was looking a little rough. Oh, uh, she wasn't prepared. She was not. Looked like she had just woke up. The picture's still fire though, but. She she was holding, but she had a little bit of a weight on her. But she still looked good though. But it looked like you know that she looked like she didn't like do her hair that that morning. You know, like ah, yeah, get right up. You know, but but shout out to Jasmine Sullivan. Wasn't prepared for the interview to be on. Yeah, video. <laughs> yeah. So nah. compared to how she looks now, though, she looks amazing now. So. But nah, man, go ahead check that album out. Uh yeah, NFL so NFL this weekend, man. You got quick predictions? Anything? Uh, I mean, I'm still sticking with my joint. I'm still sticking with Buffalo versus uh, Green Bay. Oh, um, check out One Night in Miami. If oh, you have yeah. Amazon Prime. Uh, directed joint? Yes, yes. It's on Netflix? Netflix? Uh, no, it's on Amazon Prime. Ah. Uh, you ain't got Amazon Prime? I don't know how much that is. Uh, I think it's like $12.99. Come on, bro. I'm tired of that. No, no, no. I mean, I mean we, we, we got, if you got a family, you should have Amazon Prime just for the you know, the Amazon shit, the, the Amazon deliveries, getting it quick and all that shit. I have to look into Amazon I, I be delivering, I be buying shit and getting that shit delivered by one o'clock. I, I need in on that. But, I need in on that. Check that but yeah, out. Yeah, no, I, I recommend, I mean, I'm not talking about Amazon Prime, you know, just for streaming. Like Amazon. You pay that money for Amazon Prime, you getting shit delivered quick. You getting movies. If you got Twitch, you you can get the premium Twitch shit. Like that's how I watch Impact Wrestling. Okay. Um. So yeah, all that shit. Like so, I can recommend that shit. But yeah, it's on Amazon Prime right now. Best movie of the year, including last year. Mm -hmm. That movie is better than better than Five Bloods. Yes. Because Five Bloods was your joint. You yes, five bloods it, it, be, it got five. It, it nearly beats five bloods okay. for best picture for me. Okay. Nearly beats it for me. That move, a fictional account of Muhammad Ali, um, Malcolm X, Sam Cook, and James. I mean, Jim Brown. Is there a possibility we get five bloods in uh, this joint? Uh, yeah, Oscar I think they both get nominated. I think they both get nominated, and I believe that Spike Lee and Regina King is getting best um best director nominations. That is fire. And if she gets not and, and I mean I'm not I'm not on my Cisco and Ebra shit. Yeah. Like I really believe that like I'm mad at A Villa right now because I think A Villa, um matter of fact, I told A Villa and Jay Moore they need to be the new Cisco and Ebra. Big facts. I they need to have this. a they need to have a platform just like I, this. Look. Discussing. I ain't throwing no ideas to no niggas no more. I really truly <laughs> believe 
I re- and, and this is me shouting out niggas on my platform to say A Villa and Jay Morg are the two dudes that I know that talk about movies the way that Cisco and Ebert and them talk about movies, how they discuss it. I just I go in, I like movies, I right, cool, that's dope. But when it comes that to breaking down, movies, like, though? the dichotomy of the situation. <laughs> Breeded this, oh, which yeah. gave it a great. Them two <clears throat> need they own Cisco and Ebert. <clears throat> I'm praying on that. I've been saying it for years. A villain knows this. I told Morg too. Cisco hey, and a black and Mexican. <laughs> Let's get it. Richard Roper ain't got to be the only nigga that's up here telling us how these movies is. But that being said, that's a five star movie to me. All right. It's a five star movie to me. Um, it's an ensemble cast, but Aldous Hodge did his thing as Jim Brown. It was a particular part of the movie where he was talking to he was talking to Malcolm X about um, about um, how wealth is going to help us get out of our situation more than just some of the shit that you preaching about. Um, it, it talks about a lot of things that we need to hear. Um, it is a fictional account, so it's not a true story. Mm-hmm. But I think everybody did that thing. Even the nigga that did that play uh, Muhammad Ali, he was more believable as Muhammad Ali to me than Will Smith. Mm. That's. T- I'm not saying that he did yeah, a better that- job. Okay, okay, I'm okay, okay. It was more believable. Okay. Because it's Will Smith. As Muhammad Ali, like you, the Fresh Prince is Muhammad Ali. When I, I don't know Buddy from a can of paint. This I don't even know who played Muhammad Ali. But when I was looking at Buddy, I was like, yeah, I can see him as Muhammad Ali more than Will Smith because when I look at Muhammad, when I look at Ali, it's Will Smith as Muhammad Ali. That's, <laughs> but yeah, they all did their thing, man. I thought it was a dope movie. I give it five stars. And Regina King has officially become one of the goats to me is no debate about it she's a she's an emmy award winner a golden globe award winner um the only thing that's left on the mental now is an oscar Mm -hmm. and i think based off based off the movies that i watched she getting it Mm -hmm. and she's a black woman too yeah with everything that's going on I believe that Regina King is going to get the Oscar for best um, best director, which would make her the first black woman, I believe, to win best director. That'd be fire! And if we could get Spike Lee in that category as well, first time two black directors in the same category, same director, time. black uh, black directors um, in the best director uh, category. I don't know. I gotta look that up. That'd be fire though. Oh, put it I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I, I, I can't remember two black directors being nominated for the best director at the Oscars. And matter of fact, um, no black director has won best director. John Singleton was the first yeah. to be nominated um for best director for Boys in the Hood. Um, but yeah, John, yeah. The peep the six. The six black people that was nominated for best director, John Singleton, Lee Daniels for Precious, um, Steve McQueen for 12 Years a Slave, um, Barry Jenkins for Moonlight, and Jordan Peele for Get Out, um, and Spike Lee for Black Klansman. So there's no black women Remember, they thought Ava DuVernay was supposed to be nominated um, for, what was that, uh, Selma. Okay, yeah. She wasn't. It was a snub. Everybody was upset about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Regina King about to pay them back for what they did to the cold crush, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> she's going to be she's gonna be a Black History Month fact right. next in 2022 because I think she's going to win that Oscar for Best Director for One Night in uh, Miami. That's my prediction. Oh. And that's my hot take, too. All right, that's a hot take. We're gonna roll with that one. I ain't got nothing. I ain't got much of nothing on Hey Villa J Moore, stop playing. There you go. All right, what's your hot take? 
good. I'm straight. Ah, right, you know what? I'm just gonna keep rolling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch it back to the football real quick. I'm gonna just keep rolling that Cleveland Browns bandwagon. I'm gonna roll with it. I picked, oh, you, I, oh. I picked Pittsburgh. I picked them to stomp on Pittsburgh last week. I said it on the pod, and then I put it in on my Facebook status right before the game started. I said Cleveland about to dance on the Pittsburgh Steelers and what they do, danced on their ass. So I just – I need to keep my hot take from last year. I know it was a last year take, but it's happening right now. The Cleveland Browns <laughs> is – the Cleveland Browns is with all the shits. So I'm gonna pick them in a in an upset in a close upset to go over the Kansas City Chiefs. And we're gonna go, we're gonna roll with that too. I'm just a fan of the underdog when it comes to the playoffs anyway. So I'm looking Good. forward to the I'm looking forward. I, I ain't I ain't gonna push it past uh the LA Rams neither. I won't be shocked if they knock off Green Bay. Won't shock me. <laughs> I'm okay. I bet so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid, but that's my take. I'm still I'm rolling. I'm rolling with the Cleveland Browns until they fall. My until bad. the team knock them off, I'm rolling with them. So that's my hot take right there. Anything else, bang, bang, uh-huh. stupid y'all, bang, 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 stupid, bust, bang, stupid. See, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Bro, literally, like when you go on TikTok, bang, download it, make a TikTok page. I, I downloaded TikTok, I'm just not doing a TikTok. Yeah, you gotta do no TikTok. Did you just use it to scroll? Yeah, I scroll. I scroll. Um, yeah, when you go in there, like when you go to like your uh, for you, yeah, they just, oh wow, it's another one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's so intriguing, bro, because you look at like, damn, she look a little fried right now. She got a little bathrobe on with her uh, her, uh what you call it, uh, a bonnet on and shit. You're like, what's she about to do? Then boom. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> Man, let's get out of here, player. Hey, man, some dude out. All right. <laughs>